This disturbing cell phone video shows a violent attack on a Jefferson County Public Schools bus. WDRB Stefan Johnson spoke with the victim today who says what you don't see is even worse. The video is on board a school bus leaving Cameron Middle School on Friday. We want to warn you the video is pretty disturbing and what the victim says happened after the video is even worse. <laughs> can see at the end of the video he took his belt off. What I don't show is him whooping my son with that belt buckle. It has been a few days, but Whitney Davis is still angry, outraged and emotional. The incident in question started on Friday afternoon with me receiving a phone call of my son crying for help and saying that he was about to be jumped. On Friday, her 12 year old son Kiani was beaten by another student on a bus on the way home from Cameron Middle School. His eyes are black. The second day after the incident, they were swollen, almost completely shut. I have pictures of that. He still has a shoe print mark on the back of his neck and marks behind his ear. This cell phone video shows part of the attack. A student approaches Kiani and punches him in the face. He was terrified to fight back. Instead, Kiani curls into a ball to protect himself. And he said that he, it happened so fast and they came from behind that he just event, it went into fetal position and balled up and was scared. As the punches continue over and over for more than a minute. I couldn't watch it the first time. I burst it out into tears. It was like he was hitting me here and here. Kiani says it started with a verbal assault in school and escalated to this violent attack. Uh, there were some back and forth comments and he eventually just got up and started beating me. The bus driver continues the route as other students watch, scream, and record it on their cell phones. No, they like cheered him on. JCPS isn't commenting on camera, but released a statement saying in part, students involved will be disciplined in accordance with the Student Support and Behavior Intervention Handbook and could face charges. Davis says her son will not be coming back here to camera or any other Jefferson County Public School. With photojournalist Ariana Shuka, I'm Stefan Johnson, WDRB News. Hard to watch.